everybody, I'm Professor Leong. Today I'm going to be talking about a common question that a lot of people have when they're working on their first law school seminar paper or their law review student note or student comment. And that question is, how do I know when to stop researching and start writing? Now this is not an easy question to answer and the answer probably depends on what kind of project you're doing, how long the paper is, a lot of things like that. But there is one really easy way to tell from your draft that you probably haven't done enough research yet, and that's what I'm going to be talking about today. Let's go ahead and dive in. So when you write a law school seminar paper or a law review student note, one of the things that you always want to make sure to do is read pretty much everything out there on your topic. The phrase I use in my seminars is you want to try to find the universe and you want to educate yourself about what all of the scholars who have come before you have said. Now the reason you're trying to do that is so that you can then synthesize all of these other ideas that are out there and put them together with your own contribution. Now, as you're writing, you can tell whether you're doing this, whether you are synthesizing all of these sources that you've spent so much time reading and absorbing, you can tell whether you're doing that by taking a look at your footnotes. So what I'm showing you right now is an article called Multiracial Identity and Affirmative Action that I wrote while I was a third year student uh, in law school, and it was subsequently published in a journal at UCLA. And if you look at the footnotes, what you see is that I'm citing some cases. I'm citing some primary sources like law school applications. I'm citing some news articles. I'm citing um, some scholarly articles, right? If you look at notes 114, 115, and 116. And so what this tells me is that I have pulled together all of these different sources and drawn my own conclusions from them and then used the sources to support that. So again, what I'm doing is synthesizing. I'm pulling together a lot of different sources and using them to draw conclusions. And you can tell this from the footnotes. If you continue looking at this paper, you know, every page is gonna be a little bit different, but if you, in general, look at the footnotes, what you see is that I'm citing a lot of different sources. Sometimes I'm discussing them, sometimes I'm explaining them a little bit more, but the big picture thing that I'm doing here is synthesizing them. Okay, now compare the footnotes in the article that I just showed you with these footnotes. And something I'm sure that you'll immediately notice about these footnotes is that they are all citing the same source. This is probably not a good sign because when you've read a lot of different sources, and you're synthesizing them, you're bringing them together and then fitting your own unique contribution in with these sources, there's going to be a lot going on in your footnotes. If what you're doing is citing to the same source over and over, what you're essentially writing is a book report on that particular source. Now, just to be clear, there may be times when it is perfectly appropriate to cite the same source over and over again. So for example, if you're writing a comment on one Supreme Court case, then you may well need to cite the case repeatedly because you're going to want to describe what the majority did and what the dissent said in response. Similarly, if you're writing something like a book review, of course there are going to be several pages when the only thing you're citing is the book because you're describing the author's argument and explaining what they're saying before you respond to it or contextualize it in the larger universe of legal scholarship. But if you're not doing some project that does by necessity require you to cite the same source over and over, and yet your footnotes look like this, that can be a pretty good indication that you haven't done enough research because you're not doing any synthesizing. And the reason that you're not doing any synthesizing is that you haven't read enough to have things to synthesize. That's why you, why you keep coming back to the same source over and over and citing it repeatedly. So if you've got long stretches in your paper that look like this, where you're just citing to the same source over and over again, that can be an indication that you need to do some more research to make this really a robust contribution of legal scholarship. Finally, I just want to conclude by emphasizing something that I say in all of my videos, which is that the ultimate authority on what you should be doing with your law school seminar paper or your law review student note is not me, it is either your professor or your law review advisor. And so if you watch this video and you don't know whether you should be doing more research or restructuring your paper or maybe narrowing your thesis a little bit, that's the person that you want to talk to. 
Now, if you want to get in touch with me for any reason, my contact information is below this video. And if you enjoyed this video, you found it helpful, and you'd like to watch other content about how to succeed on the types of assignments that you're going to see throughout your law school career, go ahead and subscribe. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you next time.